I recently received a very disturbing message from friends about how the Sri Lankan government continues to forcibly and systematically cremate the bodies of their deceased relatives. Using COVID-19 as an excuse, the Sri Lankan government is forcibly burning the body of Muslims and Christians who die of suspected COVID-19. Imagine the distress this is causing to their relatives. What is our duty towards this grave injustice against our Ummah in Sri Lanka? The government of Rajapaska is targeting these communities as a way of gaining cheap political points with its constituency. So it is happy to terrorize Muslims and others. A newspaper reported that in May, one Muslim man found that his mother had been wrongfully cremated. He said, the day my mother died at hospital, they took her body away and then handed me a pot of her ashes. But the next day, they told me that my mother's test was negative and it was a mistake cremating her. Ya Rab. Muslims are now afraid to go to hospital in case they die there and their body is forcibly taken and cremated. This is persecution. The Prophet wasallam cried for his ummah. He cried for us and commanded Muslims, commanded us to care and support one another. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Al Muslim wa Akhul Muslim, La Yadlimuhu, Wala Yakdhuluhu, Wala Yakdibuhu, Wala Yakiruhu. A Muslim is the brother of a Muslim. He does not oppress him, nor does he fail him. Nor does he fail him, nor does he abandon him. We have to support each other. So when we think of this hadith, we have to support our oppressed ummah around the world. In Kashmir, Syria, Palestine, the Uyghur Muslims, and now also the Muslims in Sri Lanka. They are now appealing to us, their ummah. We have to respond and support them on this issue. We have to do what we can to oppose the cremation of Muslims in Sri Lanka. We need to do the following. One, make dua for them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for our ummah in Sri Lanka. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept their dead in Jannatul Fardaus and aid them against the government's oppression. Ameen. Two, support Muslims in Sri Lanka by becoming their global voice. Help them raise a global awareness of the injustice so people everywhere question the Sri Lankan government over its policy of forced cremations. So please share this video. Please speak about this issue to your friends, relatives, social media contacts and others. If people are aware of the injustice, then they can be motivated to support our brothers and sisters in many ways. Three, there is no leadership, no state, no ruler in the world today who will sincerely stand up for the rights of Muslims and be a guard for their deen. This latest injustice facing Muslims in Sri Lanka is another reminder that there will be no protector for Muslims without their shield, our shield, the Islamic Khilafah Rashida state. If there was Khilafah, there would be somewhere to migrate to or somewhere that would raise the plight so the voice of the oppressed is heard. Let us make